Mm. What am I made of money? Uh, cool. I'll, show, I'll draw you a little picture. Okay. So, as 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 you're reading intensely through your book, Yasha, every like twenty or so minutes, you'll hear this distant, high pitched, shrill sound <laughs> that catches you off guard. And as you turn to look, your adrenaline briefly pumping, you remember that's Caduceus practice. Got the perfect pollock. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Um, who else want, is doing anything particular over the next? Period of time. Um, I went to uh, scry on Kiri and see oh. how she's doing. Oh shit! Okay. Great. So you go ahead and focus a bit. It's just like a, it's like a big turkey dinner. Like <laughs> you're horrible. <laughs> you are a terrible person. Happy <laughs> 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 Thanksgiving. <laughs> As you're taking some time in your own chambers, your, your private chambers here in the cottage, uh, placing these symbols on the ground and focusing intently on Kiri's whereabouts, you feel your consciousness extend a bit into the clouds above before rushing down towards the overlooks, the mountain cliff sides of the Silverquell Ridge down into Upper Hupperduke. Upper Hubber, if you will. Um, glancing towards it, last to memory you can recall, there appears to be quite a bit of damage that Upper Hupperduke has sustained. Uh, up, up. Up, 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 up. As, as the kids call it. Yep. Hanging out and up, up. It's good branding for property it values. Is. It's got the stack layers so, just in block. It's so, <laughs> gentr up. so yeah. gentrified, I prefer Down Duke, though. <laughs> Downward Duke? Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Dodo. <laughs> Dodo. As you yeah. try and wrestle your if concentration you yeah. during the scry from the various terms that make their way through your brain, Jester, <laughs> uh, you can see the damage that you had heard of some sort of an attack that had, had come to, to Hupperduke. Um, it doesn't look terribly recent, but there are small levels of construction uh, that are beginning to spring up again. The, the city is reclaiming itself in those regions. Um, and with a flash, there is a sight of a dark, feathered young girl making her way through the street, hood up, cloak on, holding arms filled with what looks to be like partially stale bread, a small basket with some like a little uh, piece of cloth wrapped over it, and it's just kind of walking along, kind of darting from a shadow, shaded corner to shaded corner. This is not to call too much attention before. Too skinny, or does she look like she's eating okay? <laughs> she looks as she looks healthy. Okay, okay. Uh, she, she's not uh, withering by any means, um, but she's also you know covered in feathers. Mm -hmm. But as best as you can guess, she doesn't seem any worse for wear. As you yeah, she multi. Follow her for a bit, <laughs> uh, returning to the the same abandoned butchery where you had encountered the family that had agreed to take care of her. Um, the place has been far spruced up. Um, whereas previously it was just a boarded, shut locale uh, filled with dust and abandoned pieces of furniture, many of which was in either in disuse or broken. Um, you watch as she comes through the door in the inside, and it kind of feels like a little more of a home. Um, you see her bring the bread and place it on the counter and break it apart and look around. Nobody else is home yet, so she just grabs a piece and sits on a stool and kind of like begins eating it quietly, but she seems okay. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. Uh, the, the 10 minutes of the scry wear off, and that, that's the extent of the vision you have. Oh, I could use some bread. That made me hungry. <laughs> I'm going to get some bread. Okay. Eat it. And then I'm going to send a message to the Plank King. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what? Um, Boom. Oh my god. All right. Hold on. Wow. Cons slowly worry to life in Matt's head in the back. Uh, oh god. Okay. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> wow, you've, you've, you've sent the DM down a, right, um, sure. a, a file, Go file hole. Binders. Okay. What, what, what do you send to the Plank King? <laughs> it's Chester, do you remember me? <laughs> How are things going there? We miss you. Are you guys causing crimes and stuff? How's your hair? 
you hold me? <laughs> That's actually, I think, dead on. <laughs> At first, you think it may not have found its source from the protracted silence. That's such a fucked spell. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just hit you at any time. It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Look, it's like I never thought of it in the wrong hands until it was in the wrong hands, and it's it's fascinating. You just hear hello. The voice comes back and goes, "I am not really certain." Who this is. <laughs> but business has been business. Why do you ask? And that's the only response you get. <laughs> you didn't have a, a lot of interaction with the plane no, king, and you gather he's genuinely unsure who this is. I like it. You said Jester. I know, he should remember me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to send a message mm -hmm. to Bo's dad. The Taldor Council. <laughs> <laughs> to Bo's dad. Okay. What? Wait, what now? Okay. This checklist is crazy. I'm so crazy happy. Checklist. Sending is dangerous. How are things going there? <laughs> Did you heed my warnings before? We are keeping eyes on you. Uh, yes, uh, keep everything's fine. Um, um, I I don't know if you're responsible, but thank you for. Helping with the competition. Just let us know what you need. You've become their god. You're taking credit for something somebody else did? Politician. She's a warlock patron. Superstitious. Remember, there was that competitive wine family that got attacked by the Hope <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Competitive wine family? Yeah. Like they just drink Both wine? Like no, no, no. No. Oh, yeah. wow, that's they fair. They sell wine and make wine and. Yeah. It was business another compete? business rival. Business rival. Business rival. Okay. Business rivals of her. Well, last message of the day that I'm going to send today. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to send that's a message to the inevitable end. <laughs> what? Oh. And just say, hey, so you kind of disappeared. But I just want to say thank you so much for helping out back there. Uh, if you want a friend, because it's probably. Send another one. Pretty lonely. There, with whatever you're doing. If you want a friend, you know, just let us know. Thank you again. Also. Like your hair. <laughs> the response come back. <laughs> I think I know who this is. I appreciate your aid in breaking his wheel. And I show appreciation by letting you live. So we will not meet again. Oh, come on. That's it. Didn't even come in on the hair. Oh, no. Does she know that she can respond twice? I said two messages. <laughs> I'm just gonna doodle in my journal, the inevitable end. <laughs> Fading out of a wall. Okay. Okay. It's pretty pretty well done. There's some good shading, some good cross hatching on it. Like you're getting better and better at this as the weeks go on. Yeah. Wow. I'm also gonna draw what I imagine Bo's dad looks like, melting into a puddle. 
<laughs> Does it look like Bo with a mustache? Kind of. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty.